here we are and welcome to ultimate bodge so um this bit i think my next step is just to flatten it down with some sandpaper again and then i'm going to lacquer it and see what it comes out like because i can still see a line around there which is annoying but i'm hoping it's not going to disappear is it but i'm hoping it disappears when i lacquer over the top of it so we'll have a look First I need the jug that I've put in the house. Right, back in a second. Make yourselves at home. A jug of water. Thank you. Right, so I used eight hundred yesterday, so let's let's try. For 12 just in case that helps at all right so we've got his 1200 grit we'll dip it some water I just want to I just want to see that line disappear but I fear I'm not going to see that line disappear no no rich I want to just keep going like this for a bit, see what happens. Insert music. Right, I don't, I don't think I can back that off anymore. So, <clears throat> let's dry it up. Panel wipe it. Oh, 
Let's try our panel like pit and then uh, put some lacquer on it and see what it comes out like. Here we go. Right, hopefully that goes less on orange peely when it's uh, when it's drying up. Uh, stuff happening right let me unplug this I've got a feeling that's just gonna fall off on there and that'd be immensely irritating Come on. if you're gonna bodge at least do do a bodge properly so we've got we've got a heater on there now. It's crap. Hmm. patchy. I expected it to be. Once we'd put lacquer on, I expected it to disappear a bit. Hmm. Frustrating. Well, let's see. Uh, Let's hope the other side on wheel arch comes up there. That's just a bit pants. Hmm. Well, let's not carry on watching paint dry. So apparently my first mistake is masking off too closely, so that's why I've got a line and what I need what I need to do with the, the colour is gradually come in and out so masking with a line is why I've uh, masking off that section is why I've got that line which is quite annoying this is kind of dry already there right I might what I might do is just dry on that bit and tack it on that bit Okay, let's just put some silver down, see what happens. I mean, if we're going to bodge, we might as well big bodge. I'll stop you while I'm checking this can. Right, I've just put another coat of paint on without putting mask in. And I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe that is my massive mistake, masking it off too closely. So let's put a heater on that, get that to dry off. Uh, then put another few few coats on and then see if we can get that, that line to disappear. So that might be my trick, masking too closely and not putting enough layers on. So let's, let's see how we get on. Let's see if I can... Uh, Get you a bit closer so you can see ugh, what the effect is after two oh god two extra coats um i thought they were like right, this
So two extra coats of paint. You can still kind of see the rectangle, but it's a lot, lot less prominent. Um, can you see it on here? I don't know whether you can tell. It's kind of still there, but it's a lot, it's a lot less um, than it was before. So that's that's the way to go. So there's my mistakes I've been making, masking off too closely, and uh, not putting enough enough layers on. So yeah, all I've done there is mask off the crow because I don't want the paint getting on that. Uh, I'm holding cardboard above grill. Um, everything else is superficial, it's mucky anyway, so it'll just paint will just stick to muck. Um, but yeah, if I can get another couple on there. And then put a, put a coat of lacquer on at least. And then I'll turn around and I'll have a go at that wheel arch. Because if that's, if that's the trick, then I should be able to do that wheel arch dead easy. And it'll look a lot better than what it does at the moment. So yeah, let's, uh, let's see, what, see what we get grooving with that. I'll, uh, I'll, not, I'll not film, film it drying because, you know, you've seen paint dry. Right, let's sling another coat on here and see what we get this time. <sighs> I'm hoping this masking tape's not making a problem now. But it is, you know. Bloody hell, Simon. at this reusing masking tape crikey what what is the world coming to just look how professional we are now not only have we masked off the grill rather than using a bit of cardboard uh, but we've got a rotating heater on. Ooh. Um, but I, as you can probably see on that picture, it looks better, a lot better now. So yeah, you can't can't see that blend line. It's all all up to now. Groovy beans. Um, obviously, once I've done lacquer, there's going to be overspray bits that I probably need to polish off or something. But hopefully not too much and uh, that looks all right so once this once i put another couple of coats on this i'll spin around and i'll i'll crack on with that rear arch and then uh, hopefully that rear arch will no oh, you can't see me you just talk, i'm just talking to to nothing um hopefully that rear arch will be uh, can you see me now it'll be just as easy as what that seems to be now so the the experience i'm getting out of this is going to help me when I come to redo Margaret because there's a another there's a bit coming through on one of doors, and there's a patch on wing and a patch on bonnet, and I need to redo that back end. So hopefully now I've got a bit more experience, I'll be able to sort these things out easier and better. So yeah, 
there's always a silver lining to a cloud and if you do something wrong it's not the end of the world it's a learning, a learning experience i'm just waiting for my mum and dad to come around with sandwiches because it's saturday uh, so again i'll, I'll stop because you don't want to watch paint dry and then i'll i maybe film it when it looks glorious and amazing hopefully hello here we are with him easier you mean him, oh, him and he's just inspecting my handiwork and telling me that it looks like a right load of crap um and that i should never touch silver paint ever no, again it's, it's all right that's that's, that's <laughs> it's, it's all right it's, i've seen a lot worse yeah you should have seen, seen better, it you should seen a lot worse. you should have seen it this morning it were a lot worse than they look like <laughs> But I'll uh, I'll spin everybody around and have a look. So here we are at the Rover factory, and um, <laughs> as you can see, this is a perfectly factory fresh Rover seventy five. Hey, you on your tea break? I'm always on a tea break, me. My name's Norman Norman Butler. Um, he don't look too bad. He looks quite shiny. He's more he's more orange peely in real life than it looks like on camera. Don't you agree? It's not orange peel. It's flashing off nicely. The longer you leave it, the better it's going to look. So oh. don't, don't keep doing it coat after coat because it's not going any better. Well, I'll just leave it forever then. It softens. It. Don't do anything else then. No, mean? leave it. <laughs> All the rest might be rusty. Just don't touch that bumper. Oh, that, bu that bump is not likely to get rusty though, is it? I've known plastic to rust. <laughs> Welcome back to what feels like part 15,000th of the Fixing Henny's bodywork. So, here we are so far on the, on the wink. So, since I adopted the, uh, the spraying more than the area and feathering it out with a spray can, um, but it looks a lot better. So, that's a, that's a happy win. Feel, there you go. Yeah, so you, can see, you can hardly see the line there at all. Um, so, next job is to uh, to get spraying lacquer on it, which I'm going to about to do now. So, happy days should be uh, should be all all fine for uh, for tomorrow. Now, in fact, what I need to do is I need to get lacquer all over it. In fact, I ain't got let me let me know. So, what I need to do is I need to get lacquer all over it. Get a few coats of that on. Whether it looks a bit crap or not, we'll lacquer on it. I'm all, I'm fine with that because it's lacquer and it's done. So at least I can flatten it back later and redo that bit if I need to. But I just want it done and ready for tomorrow. So I'll leave it overnight to dry and then I'll get a quick wash in the morning because the rest of the head is filthy. Um, and then we'll head off up to down to Matlock for a, oh, excuse me for a meet up and it'll be a tray fun. So. Uh, yeah, you might see a bit more footage of me spraying lacquer, or I might just not bother because it's pretty standard stuff, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, there we go. If it's if this isn't the end of the video, then I shall see you in a second. If this is the end of the video, then ta-ra! Thank <laughs> you. 
shock ending um, car is silver and doesn't look particularly crap. Um, it's a bit shiny. You can see a bit more shine there. Obviously, it needs it needs sort of flattening off and polishing and stuff, but that is acceptable for me at the moment. So there we go. Thank you.